This show is brought to you by our friends at bayphoto.com. Head over after the show to print something amazing. Be sure to check out their specials at bayphoto.com forward slash specials. Hello. Hello and welcome to Outside. Now today I want to go over some very basic simple tips for if you're just out and about and you want to snap snap some things. So I thought I'd bring you to a local country, Kazakhstan. You've all heard of it. It's a great country, so come. Now, what are some basic things that you should know about if you just want to like, all right, I teach a lot about, oh, manual controls on the camera and this sort of thing. Okay, Luke, that's, I'm not, I'm not here for that. I want something simpler, maybe. So, turn your camera on. Put it in automatic mode, okay? And then from this point, let's just, I'll give you a few little tips of what you can do. If you want to shoot the environment around here, it's all about composition, this word composition. Uh, in normal textbooks, composition just means, you know, using certain shapes together that apparently look good together. But that's really vague and I, know, I don't use that definition. A much simpler, more workable definition of composition is including objects in your shot which will push the idea or message that you want your photo to have and deleting from that photo everything that distracts from it, detracts from it and doesn't say what you want. All right, so let's think with this as we take some shots and I'll give you a few other pointers along the way as well. Like here, here's some interesting old Kazakh buildings. If you wanna know where the name Kazakhstan comes from, that's Kazakh, that's Stan. They're brothers, okay? They made this country. Uh, that's a lie. Okay, so we, we, I'm just gonna take a shot. The lens I'm using here is a 35 millimeter. It's the exact same view that you see from your camera phone when you just open it normally, okay? So I'm gonna take a photo of this. Camera's an automatic, okay, and it looks like a tourist photo. It just looks so boring. Oh, oh, this sort of a thing. Here's a tip. Color, color. You know when you go on Instagram and you see all these, like the, the, these shots from these pro photographers who travel and stuff, and it's just, they're amazing. And, but you m might not quite know what the heck they're doing. Color is a huge part of photography. But when you're getting first started, color can actually destroy a lot of your photos because maybe you've got interesting objects, but then you've got a little red car or you've got a little person in a yellow stripy top walking around and it's distracting for composition. Composition is about bringing together only objects which fit and, and push like a certain message that you want, okay? So, super simple tip, delete the color for starters. You might not like this, but I totally recommend it. Put your camera in black and white mode. It's gonna delete all the color from it. So if I take it this same shot, okay, it's the same shot, but composition wise, it fits things together better because there's no random blue, red, yellow. If you don't understand how to use colors and what colors look good and what colors don't look good in your photo, then forget color. Start with black and white and just focus on shapes. Okay, good, so let's walk around here. And as you're looking around, you wanna look for shapes that particularly seem to have diagonal lines to it. Horizontal and vertical lines are quite boring to look at, but adding some, something with curvature to it, such as this massive dome right here, and having it a little bit off to the side of the picture, that's interesting, okay? That's a lot better than if I just shot straight in the middle here. You know, it's like, what is that, you know? But having things slightly off center is another little tip for comp composing your photos with shapes and lines and stuff. Okay, so you walk around, you look for other lines. Any line, any line will do it. Even this line in the, in the, in the ground here. If I wanted to photograph, okay, these, this little thing over here. Okay, it's, it's flat. It's mostly horizontals happening there. But introduce this curvy line into it and maybe change my camera into like a vertical orientation. And suddenly it's a bit more interesting because you've got this curvature and, it, and these lines also help lead the eye into the photo. You tracking? Okay, good. What else can we do? So, so simplify what you're looking at into the basics of shapes. Even shadows work good. Like look, especially for black and white. If I include the shadows on the ground as well as the top part of this, my, ca my camera is being too bright for some reason. 
That's why I don't like automatic, because sometimes it thinks you want something, but no, no, Jack, I want something different. Yeah, that's better. And I'm gonna darken it even more. That's cool. And then I'm gonna do something else which I enjoy doing, and that is increase the contrast of my entire photo. Contrast is the difference between the brightest parts and the darkest parts of your photo. Increasing the contrast, especially in a black and white photo, can create more oomph, more punch to it. So if I increase the contrast here now, let's just take a shot. Ooh, interesting, hang on, it's a little dark. Let's bring this up. Yeah, see, that's more dynamic. That's a fancy word, come over here. And then basically it's just like, use diagonals, use diagonals. These stairs are horizontal as you can see, but you can diagonalize them. You don't need to shift this, this place of the stairs. You just go from an angle where the stairs look like they are literally at a diagonal angle. And you take that shot there. Again, it's a little dark. You see? Oh, oh, these are just normal stairs. But in my black and white awesome photo, they look more interesting, all right? And that's the, this is the perfect way to begin practicing. Just get your camera, okay, fine. Put it in automatic mode, for goodness sake, if you have to. Put it in black and white mode, and then just think with lines and diagonals and these sorts of things. Go around, shoot buildings, shoot little thingies outside, blah, 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 blah. It even works with people. That's why posing works with people. If I'm standing here, oh, please take my photo, I don't look good because I'm a vertical line. But then you, as, as soon as you like add some diagonals into the pose, it instantly looks better, friends. You understand? Good. So this is extremely basic, but it's extremely pervasive, means it, it hits all areas of photography, these simple basics. They apply to every shot that you'll take. Okay? So just keep snapping, friends, and surprise yourself, and play around with the settings, even if you don't know what they do. And, oh, geez, look at that one. Okay? And uh, I'll teach you more soon. I'm Luke Ayers. Enjoy. Please subscribe and enable the bell so you don't miss any of our new shows. Like the video and please share it and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.